Hello, I'm Carl Seibert. Thanks for joining me. If you run a website and your website is stripping metadata off pictures, which is not a good thing, you might be wondering how to fix that. Well, if your website is powered by the Drupal content management system or the WordPress content management system, it turns out the solution is basically the same. The procedures are a tad bit different, but basically we're talking about the same answer to our problem. And that is to switch from the GD imaging library to the nicer ImageMagic imaging library. GD destroys metadata and there's not much you can do about it. ImageMagic by default leaves metadata alone and perfectly preserves it. And imaging, image magic might be just better all the way around. So there's no downside to this. This is a win-win sort of solution. A while back, we talked about doing this in WordPress. Now it's Drupal's turn. So let's go to my Drupal dev site here, which lives in a sandbox on Pantheon. And we'll just see what it takes to do this. Now here we are on the back end of my site on the admin pages. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to configuration and we'll scroll down here and we'll go to image toolkit. And here, there we go. Here we will see that we can select an image processing toolkit and we have one radio button for GD. Okay, that means that we have GD installed and configured, and it in fact is what comes with Drupal by default. So let's fix that. Now, in Drupal, all we have to do to enable image magic, assuming that our hosting provider actually does provide it, is install a module, the image magic module, this one right here. And I'll put the link in the comments here, down below. And we have, one, we have a module here on this page for Drupal 8. We also have one for Drupal 7, if we happen to have a Drupal 7 system. Now, in my particular case, it turned out, after a call to Pantheon's excellent customer service, that I needed to install another module, that this module complained of an unmet dependency, and I needed also this one, the file metadata manager. You might not have to do both of these, but just in case you do, in case you run into the same problem, I'll put the link for this one in the comments as well. So let's pop back over here. We'll pop over to our extend page. And we will go to install a new module. And whoops, here we go. We will install our image magic module. And I downloaded it. You can also use the URL, whatever, whatever you want. And we will hit install. And it's complaining that image magic is already installed. No, actually it's not. As a matter of fact, I had uninstalled it. So now we'll do our file metadata manager. Same deal. We will install it and yeah, 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 that's not really true. It's not really already installed. And we will go back here now, File Metadata Manager is actually three, three modules for the price of one. And we will select it and Image Magic. We will hit Install once again. And this will actually activate the modules for us. There we go. Four modules have been activated. We'll pop back over to Configuration. Slide down to Image Toolkit once again. And now, Lo and behold, we have two radio buttons, one for Image Magic and one for GD. We'll simply select Image Magic. 
we have some image magic configuration options available to us. In my case, the defaults straight out of the box just per worked perfectly. Now, some people might have to specify the path to image magic. And it's right here in the help text, the normal path on a Linux or Unix based system is user bin convert. The name of the image magic executable is actually convert. I didn't have to do anything. I just accepted the defaults and we'll save the configuration. There we go. Our configuration is saved. Now we can go test and see if we've really accomplished anything. So let's go over here to content and we will add an article and we will call it Drupal test. And for no particular good reason, we'll make some text for our article. And we'll slip down here and we'll put a featured image on our article. Now, we should choose an image here that is bigger than the finished published image that'll appear on our page. And of course, it needs to have metadata on it. That's the whole point. So we have a picture here that satisfies those two criteria. It's a lovely young lady with drupal blue eyes. And there we go. It wants some alt text, which we will provide, and we will save our page. And here we are. We have a relatively small rendition of Our Lady with Drupal Blue Eyes. And we will download her, and we'll call her Drupal Test, and save her to our desktop. Pop over to our desktop, and here she is, and voila, here is her metadata, perfectly intact. So if this picture finds itself out on the web, whether we're intending to distribute it or it just sort of happens that way, the metadata is here, and to the extent possible, we've protected the rights of the copyright owner of this picture. We'll also take a look, and we'll look at the pixel dimensions and discover that they're 480 by 255, which is proof positive that Image Magic did indeed render this picture for us. So, there we are. We're golden. Now our website is no longer stripping metadata. We've made the world a little bit better place, and it took very little effort on our part to make it happen. Once again, I'm Carl Seibert. Reach out in the comments here or on the blog or on social media. And until next time, mind your metadata.